Okay, before we get into the tutorials, you're probably dying to see what other students have made, okay? Because you're like going, okay, so I understand it's an iPad photography badge, but what on, what on earth are they doing for level one? I'm really curious before I get into all these tutorials, what's it gonna look like when I'm done? So I'm gonna actually solve that problem for you and let you see what another student has done. So for today's example, I've got some photos that Jessica from Michigan in the United States, she's a fourth grader, and here are the photos that she sent me so you can get an idea of what you're about to do. All right, so uh, first off, what we've got here is that uh, for these photos, now you've got to understand, for the photos, this isn't about making really great photos, okay? That's coming up in levels two, three, and four. Level one is all about understanding the equipment. So I'm not really looking at great composition and those type of things. I'm really looking to see if someone like Jessica here, if she understands how to use her iPads, camera, and photo app. So, okay, let's get back into it. So what she's done here is that um, for this, she has to learn how to crop the photos. So you can see this one's been cropped square, so she's had to do that. She's also done what's called markup. She's drawn on the photo. And for this example, she needed to get down low and take a photo using the camera on the bottom side of, you know, where you rotate your iPad so the camera's down low. So it gives you this really unique low angle. So this shows me, by looking at this photo right now, it shows me Jessica understands those um, things that were learned during this batch, okay? So now let's go take a look at another one that she's done. Okay, so now that, here's another one where obviously she's written on top of a photo, okay? But notice how the photo, even with this one here, I couldn't really tell, but I bet you she's added a nice filter to it, okay? But with this one, I can see that she's changed it into black and white. And notice the whole photo is out of focus. And you're going, but Mr. Flick, isn't that bad? Yeah, normally, if it's the wrong thing in focus, but in this case, it shows me that Jessica understands how to control the focus of the camera on her iPad because the camera always wants to focus on something and it's really quite tricky to get it to focus on nothing. So this tells me that Jessica completely understands how to use her camera app. Okay, let's see what we've got for another one. Ooh, this one's kind of scary. Uh, let me just see if we can see it. Okay, if I turn off the borders, you can see that she still has this crop square, so that's good and it's making a silhouette. Again, normally, probably 80% of the time, you never want to have a silhouette, and that's when you have a really bright background on your subject, and they're just a black outline. For example, if you know if someone was at a birthday party, they'd be like, hey, where's my face? You can't even see my face. Why do you take such a bad photo of me? But in this case, if we go back to Jessica's photo, you can see what a great photo that is. It really adds mystery to it and everything. Again, it shows me that she knows how to control the camera app on her iPad to do amazing photos. Okay, so now here are two photos that go together. For this assignment, Jessica had to do what's called um, same shot, two focuses. So you can see it's the same shot from photo to photo, as in the layout is the same. But in this shot, whatever this little creature is, uh, it's in focus in here. And then this it looks like a fidgety thing is out of focus. And in this shot, the fidgety thing is in focus and this creature's out of focus. So again, Jessica is really proving to me that she knows how to put filters, she knows how to control the focus and the exposure, all those great things that come with your iPad camera. So, it's, and I think uh, this is well, almost the last one. I think there's there are six photos that you have to do for the, this assignment. Okay, uh, this must be her close-up one, and let me just zoom in. Yeah, it's all in focus, and this is where you just learn to focus in on something really close to the lens of your camera, and just to make sure you know this part here is in focus. And again, she did a really good job, and it's a nice photo. You know, it's got nice colors in it. The layout's good. Everything looks good to me. Okay, and then the last one. Now this is again like silhouette. Normally, something you don't want to see is the blurry photo. And, and but this one, she followed the tutorial on how to do like a motion blur on her object or a subject here, and that turned out pretty good too. So very artistic. So uh, congratulations, Jessica, for being featured on my website. Good on you. And I hope you've learned a little bit, you people that are at home watching this, uh, what to expect during this badge. So if this kind of really is like, hey, Mr. Flick, this is what I want to learn how to do. And, and remember, this is the foundation. You need to understand how to use your camera app before you can go on and do the really incredible things. So get right into the tutorials. I'm going to show you how Jessica was able to do these photos. And I can't wait to see the incredible things that you do with your camera on your iPad. So get right into it. Thank you. 